YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here on Empire Total War. And I had a lot of ideas on what to do for the 4th of July special that some of you have been asking for. And I don't know if this will be super special, but it'll just be, you know, kind of a fun way to incorporate Throwback Thursday into the, uh, the 4th of July uh, for anybody who's interested in it. If you're British, you may hate this series, but feel free to comment about how America would have been better if you had won the war. Um, no, in any case, I'm going to throw... Um, I'm going to throw the difficulty up here on hard, and we'll just play through these chapters. The reason these are blanked out for me is because I've reinstalled this on my new computer, and so I, I don't have my save progress from the old ones. But I figured, hey, it'd be fun. We can play through the whole thing. It's kind of a cool story. Um, so, yeah, let's let's jump into episode one. And we're not talking about Star Wars here. No Jar Jar Binks in my campaign, fortunately for the rest of us. By the way, I don't know why, but randomly, I think this is really funny. If you all ever watch Futurama where the mobsters are robbing that, like, armored car in space, and rather than being, like, a Binks truck, like we see a lot of here in the U.S., it was a Jar Jar Binks armored car. It was pretty hilarious. I digress. Our war on British tyranny begins tonight. In Boston, brave men fight for the right to govern themselves. Tonight, we fight for freedom. As I bear witness to the sacrifice of this generation, I take great comfort in the memory of our forefathers, those pioneering men who traveled to these shores seeking a new life. Like the intrepid Captain John Smith and his fellow settlers, we too seek a new world, not only for ourselves, but for future generations of Americans. As I look back on their endeavors, at the unknown dangers that awaited the pioneers over every rise and behind every tree, I am reminded that I play but a small part in a much greater story. Ready yourselves, men! Fire! Stay behind cover, men! All right, so it looks like we get to play as uh, John Smith's band here, which this is obviously going to just probably be They're charging again. Probably be Steady. Shut up, John Smith. Um, <laughs> it's going to be introducing us. Line. I swear, John Smith, you're lucky Patchy's not here, pal. Talk about interruptions, jeez. No, obviously this is going to be teaching us about uh, probably how the game works from a campaign standpoint, and what better way to do that than. I guess shooting these poor charging people in the face. Um, so what is this? The uh, Powhatan, Powhatan Confederacy. Wow, these guys are about to get charged from the flank. So let's uh, watch this. I probably should have done something about that, but hey, what the heck? This will be fun. Watch these guys duke it out, pull out their sabers, and go tomahawk on saber. And of course, the uh, shirtless natives here. That's pretty brave. Kind of like in Total War Rome 2, I always think it's pretty brave for someone to go to a battle with that, uh, without a shirt on. Let's see if my guys get a shot off. Nope, no shots. Just get charged. Let's see if we can lay down some shots with John Smith here. I'm sure that they've made this intentionally easy. It's not going to be any of my skill that gets us through this battle. There we go. Let's see if we can pop a couple of shots into them. Now I'll see if maybe we can hit that chieftain. There's only three men in the the chieftain unit there. See the chief wearing the headdress. See if we can get a lucky pot shot on him. But uh, some of my guys are under a pretty big attack here. And I'll just keep using uh, John Smith's unit here, see if I can get get a lucky shot on the chieftain. Maybe demoralize the, uh, the, the enemy. The chieftain looks to be staying near the edge of my range here. Um, some reason why you're not firing at the target I told you to. Okay, now we're getting outflanked here, but those guys are starting to waver. It looks like the chief's bodyguard is wavering. Actually, we did hit someone in the bodyguard. It wasn't the chief, though. But it uh, looks like we're going to drive them off, despite my complete incompetence in this battle for not really knowing what's going on there. So there's Patchy versus uh, Chief Chesapeake. 
And no doubt what was the first step in many uh, not-so-diplomatic engagements if Patchy's in command, that's for sure. In fact, if Patchy would have been one of the first ones to the, the U.S., it yeah, probably wouldn't have gone good. I can't see that going well. From the very beginning, there have been hardships, irreplaceable losses, brothers, fathers, sons lost to war, famine, and disease. And yet our forefathers endured, refusing to give up on the one thing they all believed in so fervently, freedom. Those brave men built a future from an inhospitable land, taming it and making it their own. The wild land was not the only threat. The natives were a constant menace, lurking at their borders, always ready for battle became obvious that until borders were clearly established, peace would continue to be elusive. You must lead the early settlers to establish Jamestown as a safe and prosperous settlement in this dangerous new world. From time to time, the British government will issue various missions to perform. As you complete these missions, the wealth and security of Jamestown will improve, and your influence throughout the whole of the New World will expand. Having survived the immediate threat posed by the native tribes, your settlers have already gained valuable combat experience. All right, now this is a, um, this is kind of a, oh, what do you call it, a prologue campaign for Empire? So they're going to walk me through some basic steps in the campaign here. So yeah, let's. This is your army. Yeah. This is Jamestown. Yep. The capital of the region of Virginia. A message box will inform you when this building has been constructed. The number in the hourglass. Okay. All right. So yep, we've uh, managed to, I guess, keep our settlement safe. We can put our guys back in the fort here. See if there's any recruitment we can do. Yes, we know. This is how we uh, recruit. I got it. We got Colonial Militia and Jamestown Settlers, which it looks like the Settlers are... Oh, actually the uh, Colonial Militia is looking way better. They're both Militia units, like irregular units, but um, let's see if we can uh, get some of these. Into the and then uh, we'll go ahead and end the turn. I'm sure they'll give us more instruction. Have been recruited. Left -click to select Jamestown. Make me. All right, new port of Verges. So they're just uh, kind of teaching you how to play the game. You know, you get your ports here, you can build stuff, um, walk through our messages. Left click on the army tab. Yes. Left click on a unit card to select. Oh, it. look at me! You I did it. Move your units out of the garrison. I can now move right my units out. Campaign map. Well, look at there. Sure enough, did. Glad this lady's here to give me this type of instruction. But then again, I'm such a noob that I may actually need it sometimes. Doesn't look like we have any uh, clear objectives right now, except for building a fishery, which is what we're busy doing. So, and it looks like that'll be complete on the next turn. I don't really know that we need more men, but heck, why not? Oh, you have successfully built a peasant farm and local fishery in the Jamestown region. Hey, I'm good with peasants. Jamestown should now grow and prosper, so it's time to deal with the threat from local native tribes. Your next compulsory mission is to capture the village of Werewakamoko, deep into unknown territory to the northeast. Mm. Compulsory mission? I thought this was the U.S. What the heck? And already this government's like overbearing. Good grief, man. Can't we get any freedom around here? Alright, I'm gonna recruit one more uh, unit. Don't really know that it's necessary, but what the heck. There is often a choice of building types to construct really? a resource slot. <laughs> well, I think we all know that tobacco is more useful than cotton. Um, <laughs> air does not endorse smoking in any way. Um, that was just for fun, actually. Just about greater numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. All right, so we're gonna go into battle, and I think I'm gonna demand their surrender in Apache-esque type way. <laughs> oh, you 
have they actually accepted it. The village of Wera Wakamoko <laughs> and are well on the way to reducing the threat to Jamestown. <laughs> the condition of victory for completing this episode. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna go try and take Shakamax and or Shakalaka or whatever that place is called up there. Um, but even though it looks like the natives surrendered there, um, we're going to need to, and I'm going to mark, well, actually, I want to demolish this building, but it doesn't look like they're going to let me. Let's go, uh, see if we can wipe out this army that's running away from us. We're going to need to make sure that they don't come in and backstab us. So let's go ahead and end this turn. Oh, look, they have another army up there to the north of us now. That's okay. Or no, they're just running away from me, I think, actually. They may have gotten around me. Here, we've caught them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's, uh, let's attack the natives here. See if we can take them out. Make our move on Shakalaka here soon. Or whatever they called it. Good grief. I can't hardly remember how to play this game, so hopefully I don't do too terribly. But I think up against just two units of natives with my, my guys here, I should be okay. Though I don't know if you all watched it or not, but if you go... Deployment phase, you could Shush! Alright, yeah, so if you all go back to some of my old videos... Uh, whoa, didn't mean to do that. Uh, whenever I'm playing Empire Total War, I get some, uh, get some good stuff sometimes whenever uh, I do the native rush builds. They're pretty fun. They were one of my favorite ways to fight, so I think the natives were actually pretty underrating, underrated, even though they were... Shush. Um, yeah, so I thought they were a little bit underrated. If you use them right, they're pretty dangerous. So let's see. You got a warrior band here. Pretty cool looking unit, actually. They're spears. Check them out. Yep. Anyway, got my troops moving up. Like I said, this ought to be a pretty easy one. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward some just while I'm moving my men up. Yeah, just bring up my general behind him. Got the Virginia colonists. This is John Smith's band, which I take it as the... Um... And let's see, we've got the natives just outside of range. So I'm going to move up on either side of this little hill. I believe there's some bowmen or other units hidden somewhere that we'll probably see pop up here in a minute. Let's move John Smith to face this way just in case. Yep, here we go. Pohatan bowmen. Their men are doing some kind of uh, shuffle there. I think I'm in range with that unit. Yep. I'm going to get shots on their warrior band. AI is playing a little too defensively for a faction that's going to be relying on Melee units. Maintaining a unit's courage and regimental discipline in the heat of battle is dependent on their morale. Okay. Advice a settings. Of pride and self-belief in their abilities. Uh, this is boosted by training, experience, yeah, let's just and go to, uh, the presence of an inspirational general. There we go. Shut up, you face. All right. Got all my men firing, and apparently this is um, some type of native display of non-violent, uh, non-violent objection to my settlement of their lands because they are just sitting here taking this. So let's make it more interesting. Going to melee with them. Let's see if we can. Get these bowmen doing anything here. So here comes my guys into melee. Do a nice little downhill charge here into the, the native spearmen. If these guys were a uh, warrior society or some other unit like that, I think I'd be a little more a little more frightened. And we'll see if their uh, bowmen are set to skirmish, whether or not they run away from me. Nope, I'm going to catch them over here with my Virginia colonist. The guy's looking pretty cool. Looking kind of conquistador-esque here. Which I don't know if that was the purpose, but sure makes him look that way. Looks like we routed the uh, warrior band, and we'll see if my guys can catch up with the bowmen who are now actually fleeing away from me. Attempting to skirmish, I think. Looks like my men have caught him, though. Should be able to take these guys out again. Didn't really expect a big fight. This is just a prologue campaign. Try and get you all some views. 
fun game. I remember when this game first came out, it was pretty dang awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. The grand campaign was a lot of fun. There was a lot of things in this game that were a lot of fun. Uh, definitely had its bugs and issues, and I remember waiting on some of them to get fixed, like the Light Infantry Doctrine bug. Good grief, when you put you guys in Light Infantry Doctrine, it would like turn them around backwards or put them off a of fire at will. I don't remember what it was, but it was terrible. Um, so there, there were a lot of bugs with it that had to be worked out. So it was uh, kind of irritating, but got fixed eventually. And But I mean, the game in general, the idea of it at least was just awesome. At least, uh, at least I thought it was. Like, I loved playing this game. It was a ton of fun. Like, the whole idea that the campaign map was the, the better part of the globe. Here, along with a breakdown of the condition Be quiet. Okay, so we pushed push back the natives. Looks like they're going to get away from us, unfortunately. And i trying to remember... Select depleted units. That's right, so to uh, replenish units on Empire Total War, you just have to use this button over here once you select them. And it looks like that'll get my guys replenished. We got plenty of money. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And it usually takes a couple of turns for your guys to get fully replenished. So we can just go ahead and do so again. And it looks like my guys are all set to go. So let's uh, make our way up here towards uh, Shaka Maxon, or however we say this. Ooh, intercepted. So it looks like the native's going to come out to meet me. They have a couple of Pohatan warriors and a couple of Pohatan bowmen. So let's get this fight going for Jamestown. For our compulsory government issued mission here. Which I guess we'll listen to them for now. Of course, you all know when the time comes, air is going to turn into a, a rebel state of all sorts, throwing off all forms of government. Okay, so looks like it was an ambush battle, so we got intercepted, but not nearly as dangerous as an ambush battle on Rome 2, it appears. Because on Rome 2, they start on both sides of you and, like, right up on top of you. Plus, you get morale uh, penalties, I think, actually. Let's move my men over into this vicinity. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit so that we don't have to watch all the time with them running and walking. The, uh, the natives will have pretty good cover, though, in the trees, which ought to protect them fairly well. I just want to get a few... Let's see if we can actually move over here to this hill with a couple of my units. Yeah, let's get these guys repositioned and maybe get uh, a few better shots. Yeah, so we'll move around to do some outflanking. We've got one native unit making its way up on top of this hill. And let's see, the Pohatan Bowmen are moving up. I'm going to let those guys open fire, um, get a good volley, and then see if we can charge into melee. Probably only the front line is going to fire since this is early period, so I just want to make sure all my guys fire. Which it looks like they have. I mean, good grief, is the AI even going to... I haven't even seen them attack me yet. But hey, I guess this is pretty typical for AI. Um, never seen a real impressive performance on them, I don't think, on any Total War game. Let's see, those are all Pahatan Bowmen. We caught these Pahatan Warriors. And I think we're going to be able to catch these Bowmen. I'm trying to cut them off from behind, but I don't think we're going to make it in time. I'll just go ahead and open up and shoot him. And I'll let a couple of units stay there and shoot while I take this unit and hit these guys in the back. So, watch my guys get these uh, warriors from behind. They're actually doing fairly good in melee. There we go. That rear attack ought to finish them off. So, yeah, they've already routed. And let's see, we've got those bowmen wavering, so let's charge there and see if we can scare him off the field. And we did. Getting some more shots here. We got these bowmen pinned up against the rocks. Check them all out up in here in the rocks. <laughs> it's like a little AI pathfinding trouble, and I think we can get a full encirclement going now. I'm going to attack these Pahatan warriors here. 
pin these bowmen in up against the rocks here as well. So I think we've pretty well got the the uh, enemies completely surrounded here. Yeah, here comes my uh, colonist from this flank against the bowmen. And then I've got colonists coming up over the, uh, the hill here. So yeah, we've got them caught. And then there should be an outflanking penalty. Yep. So the pot and warrior is just routed. And we've got these bowmen wavering. Just do one final charge here. Alright, wouldn't you know it, Patchy's already causing discord with the natives. One of the things he's best at. So, fairly simple victory there, but again, prologue campaign. Not expecting anything big. It'll probably get harder when we get to the point in this campaign where we have to fight off the British in force. But I just figured this whole little lead-in part might be kind of fun, and I had to play it anyway, so I figured why not film it. But actually, you can see that the... Um, the village has a bigger defense um, than it looks like from here. Go ahead and set my men to replenish. See if they see if they want to come out and attack me. If so, I'll defend myself. But As population if not, I'll wait till my men are replenished before I attack their uh, village. Farms or bring yeah, 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 shush. So, she's just telling me about population. The Whatever, okay. Quiet. So my men are now replenished, and it looks like we could go ahead and attack this village here. Let's see what we're up against. Quite a few bowmen, um, a bunch of armed tribesmen, which are just mob. We're not real worried about them. There's a few pot and melee warriors, um, so I think I think we should be fine. It shows the odds not in our favor, but heck, whatever. We can take this. We could siege on them for a little while, too, and try and make them come out to us, but I just don't know that there's any point in that. And plus, no guts, no glory. Let's take some risk here. Make it a little more interesting, since the AI is going to have a hard time putting up a good fight anyway. They've hardly even gotten their uh, skirmish troops within range and fired. I've been able to catch them in melee every time. And I'll keep this campaign going. Um all through July. I'll try and finish it by the end of July. This will be my throwback Thursdays for July. And then of course I can go on to what other, you know, anything else that you all want to see me do. Uh, I'm going to take two units of these guys actually up this hill. And then take these units up the center. Let's start the deployment. I wish I could... You can't really get very good camera angles and there's certainly not a um, certainly not a function for the uh, tactical camera here reminds me I was going to take a look at the game options let's see uh, or whoa, user interface that's what it was land units floating flags let's just say um, let's just let's see what it looks like with mouse over on the flags minimize user interface and then orders cards I wonder if there was mouse over on some of these. I wish they'd put it to mouse over, like only when I mouse over down here. Why does it just have to be all or never? Like, why can't we do mouse over? That's kind of annoying. There we go, that's better though. Alright, so back, resume. That'll make it a little easier for you all to see the action. Make it a little more cinematic. That is a nicer user interface, I think. Takes up less room. So I've got my militia pushing up. I can see some pot and bowmen up there as well. And I've got my main lines pushing up as well. I do believe they're going to rush me though. Which means I should probably fall back and prepare to fire. So let's just get my men in a position to defend themselves. Yeah, so the mouse over, being able to see my flags on mouse over or their flags on mouse over will make this maybe, like I said, maybe make it a little more cinematic. Since there is no like cinematic camera in this game or something, it'll help me get you all some, some good views. Ooh, those guys are almost about to stray in my range. But it looks like they're thinking better of it. Oh, and I've run onto some uh, pot and bowmen right here at the top of the hill. There's more there. I'm going to actually try and reform and fire. Oh, no, the bowmen are going to come into melee with me. They ought to lose fairly decisively, though, I think. Just more bowmen back there.
So I'm gonna leave my guy's position to shoot. Oh wow, oh, we got we got fights going on over here. We got some armed tribesmen charging us in multiple places. Maybe I should switch the flags back to where they're on. Because I'm losing track of the battle. Let's do that real quick. So options. User interface. And let's do flags, floating flags. And let's just say always. And then I don't know how the sound is right now with the music, but I should probably turn the music down. Hopefully it wasn't overbearing for you all. Let's see. And I'm going to put show subtitles on too so that you all can see what they're talking about because I know that sometimes it gets a little quiet uh, during some of the scenes where they're speaking. These guys are engaged into some heavy melee fighting here. And I'm getting some nice flank shots into these units, which I think is affecting their morale. Yeah, you can see them right there. And then this unit's chasing off some armed tribesmen. Let's see, though, we have reinforcements coming up behind me. It's another armed tribe unit. Let's uh, go see if we can protect the flank of my, my unit that's engaged here. We might get charged from behind. In fact, the AI is going to charge me from behind. The first good move I've seen him make, but I'm going to counter charge him here too. So my guys are surrounded at this point and taking some pretty substantial losses, but I'm going to hit those armed tribesmen as well. And then my uh, flank shots into all these tribesmen are uh, doing quite well. We're out of these ones over here. Let's bring these guys back. And let's see, up on the hill, I'm actually getting torn apart by these bowmen because I don't have any line of sight on them. My guys are wavering and actually routed, which means I'll probably lose this unit too. Really, lost in melee combat to Pahatan bowmen. Didn't see that coming. Let's go over here and uh, help out this unit. We'll do a rear charge real quick. And let's see if we can bring this unit back. Yeah, so we actually lost the hill. I actually thought that was going to be a fairly secure position for me, but it absolutely wasn't. And those Pahatan bowmen are now running my men down so that they don't come back, I don't think. It says both of them are shattered. I don't know that they're going to come back to the fight. don't think they will. What do we have coming up on us here? More Pahatan bowmen from behind. I'm going to let this unit take a few shots. Armed tribesmen coming at me here. This is bad because uh, John Smith's band is about to get uh, outflanked. I'm going to go ahead and melee charge these tribesmen and see if I can get a good charge. And they've got hot and bowmen coming around me there. Some, a lot of their units are coming back from routing. Again, I don't think these guys are going to come back since it says shattered. I'll keep an eye out on it. This fight may turn against me. The natives are actually picking up some steam now. And uh, if John Smith's band starts taking arrow fire from behind, it's going to be bad. I think we're making some progress here, though. Let's, let's reposition. Actually, let me think about that. Let's just click in a... No, 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 no. Let's click a fire order on these armed tribesmen. And reposition here. I'm probably just hitting some of my own men in the back. Let's see if we can get some shots on this armed tribesman. Yeah, these guys are gone, unfortunately. Really could use those units back again, but it's not going to happen. And I'm honestly getting kind of overwhelmed over here, too. And they've routed John Smith's band, which is bad. This Pahatan Bowman got behind me. It looks like I broke their guys, and John Smith's band is shattered. I don't know how much chance I have of winning this. It's going to be kind of rough, because now i got Bowman firing on me as well. Bows will probably refire faster than my musket troops, but I may be able to get some uh, get some volleys off and, and cause a morale morale shock here. But I mean, my guys are gonna they're gonna fire quite slowly. I think 
so I'll just try and fire a volley in and, and get a charge against the bowmen. I don't want to just sit there and let them eat me alive. Yeah, because I mean, you can see the refire is actually pretty high, it looks like. So let's just try and get into combat. Fortunately for me, their accuracy doesn't appear to be too high. So I've engaged more of these bowmen. Don't know why I lost that engagement up, up on the, the top of the hill, but sure did, and lost it pretty badly. I've got guys wavering here. This isn't good, especially since there's more bowmen. But I am winning over here, so I don't know. We'll see. I, I still definitely don't think this is a very good situation. There's more armed tribesmen coming back. I should have trained more men, and then I wouldn't be in this position. Because catching these bowmen now is going to be next to impossible. Since they're running, they'll just go ahead and shoot. Is this unit broken? Yeah, hopefully they don't get shattered. They very well could. It looks like these guys are lining up for some shots, maybe. Yep. So if they shatter this unit, I'm in trouble. And I actually did catch these guys over here. We'll see whether or not that was a good thing. If I can route these guys and maybe get my, my flank secure over here on a, in a good position, I might be able to do something about this. Really need these guys back, but I think they're going to get chased down. John Smith, you coward! How dare you run away just because air misused you. Yeah, all those units appear to be shattered. I've got plenty of ammo. But, I mean, the problem is, is these bowmen are just going to refire quicker than me. So I think I'm going to need to gang up on them in melee. The armed tribesmen, I could get some shots at. You know, I'd feel, feel pretty good about that, but... They have up here. Oh crap, Fahad and Warrior. So I haven't even taken care of near all their units. These guys really are probably going to shatter. Bows don't have line of sight issues either, which would be an advantage for them. Let's see if I can get my guys to open fire here. Well within range, so we'll see if they do. Oh, my guys did come back from routing. Stupendous. Let's see if we can get them um, into position to, to lay down some fire. Oh, my guys are already wavering. And we've got all kinds of warriors coming up on our flank, so this, this is unwinnable. At this point, we're going to have to come back uh, or restart one of the two. So it looks like Air's already bungled this campaign. Highly underestimated the uh, the natives here, and highly overestimated the firepower of my uh, smooth boar armed troops, which is very low. So yeah, no way to catch the natives skirmishers there really either. So yeah, all my troops are gonna end up routing there. We'll see what happens. See if we can rebuild, or if they just say, "Hey, you suck. You lost the campaign." <laughs> that would be what I deserve, honestly. Defeat. I don't think John Smith died though, this so. Piece cannot move any further. Yeah, nah, he's not dead. We're good. As population growth is slow here, it is recommended that you upgrade farms or bring low. As population Let's get back to Jamestown and um It is recommended that you upgrade farms or bring It's recommended that you shut your face. Like I've said it multiple times, lady. Multiple times. Okay. Let's get some more uh, men recruited here. As poppy, as poppy. Broken record in the house, folks. Broken record. All right. I'm getting a better army as going here. Growth is slow here. It is That's all of those guys that I can recruit. So let's just recruit more of these as guys. Man, at least turn ins are quick right here, huh? Is slow here. It is recommended that you upgrade farms or bring lower class taxes and then down. Army. Oh, I forgot to increasing the food supply. Replenish the troops. Is slow here. There we go. So my army should be as more than as capable at this point. So let's uh, go back up here to Shakamaxen and uh, pay the natives a second visit. Lady. Shash. 
I don't know what part of that you're not getting. When attacking a fort or city. Don't need your advice. Okay, <clears throat> so it looks like the natives are ready for me on round two, but this time I have a bigger army, so let's uh, let's continue the siege to see if they come out against me. As population growth is oh my gosh. As population growth really? Is slow here, Shush. Okay, so we siege the uh, siege the natives out. So it looks like we're going to make it past that chapter. Maybe not the most exciting uh, deal here, just playing through the prologue. As time went by, hostilities between the natives and settlers began to fade, and more ships carrying the hopeful arrived daily. Over the next hundred years, the population swelled, and the fight for territory began. Both the British and the French set their sights on the valuable Ohio Valley. And when the French built a line of forts across the valley, I was sent to demand the instant withdrawal of their troops. They refused, and the British retaliated by sending an army under General Braddock to take the valley by force. I was unlucky enough to be an officer in that army. Braddock's limited knowledge of his surroundings and his refusal to listen to counsel led to his downfall. He marched us straight into a French ambush. The cries of the wounded still haunt my dreams. This terrible loss encouraged the British to take a closer look at the tactics and cunning employed by their native allies. Use of these warriors and their knowledge of the land would prove to be the key to claiming the Ohio Valley. All right. So it looks like our next next little mini campaign here will be in the Ohio Valley, but um. I the think this French is where I'm going to leave off for now, and our goal is Valley. to take over the French forts. forts They're going to show them to well us here. Defended, and will be difficult to take through military force alone. Perhaps the Iroquois tribe to the north will All right. provide you so with we're going to be asking the Iroquois for help, and we're going to control this. Uh, looks like the British colony armies. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this so far. I'll be back with more next Thursday. Hope you all had a, or are about to have a good 4th of July if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., then just have a great weekend and uh, enjoy it. Um, and like I said, if you're British, I, I, I expect all the fun comments to start here. But now, in any case, Air of Carthage signing off for now.